Good morning to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover British pound versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the British pound versus US dollar first. So uh, we spoke about in the previous sessions about the pound versus US dollar and the upside potential continuation of this currency pair short term, midterm speaking. And nothing really changed. Uh, yesterday we had a down day, but if we check basically what happened in the background and the breakout of this uh, mini downside channel, the building higher lows in the last uh, 10 days or so. Um, also, if you check the MACD and stochastic, uh, we are having the upside cycle intact. So I still see absolutely potential for a retest, uh, at, uh, retest of the price at 1.2675. Uh, and then if the market can go through and hold above, then even the test of the 1.3 mark uh, might be in the play on the on the pound. Uh, if we place, for example, the Fibonacci expansion tool uh, and take from this low and put this high and this low, we can see that there is also 1.2835 mark, like a first uh, area and then we have a 1.3 mark and then 1.3160 mark so still plenty of potential for the higher prices in the short term trends are upside on the british pound versus us dollar speaking of the gold market so gold market is in a basically uh from my perspective we had this completion of the, this uh developed uh a correction and it took time to develop and the market traded up and retest a couple of times and the last two days we had a two down days basically but the market closed in the middle yesterday um so there is no real sell sell power at this point as like we we'll expect the higher prices and at least a retest of 1984 but also there is a potential short me term for the market to go to revisit 2040 mark and even try to make a new all-time high above the 20, uh, 2077 mark. We have plenty of the events um, this week and FMC, um, a federal funds rate in US and CPI. So we will see how this will uh, uh, progress. Uh, from my perspective, as long as the price can hold above the 1930 mark, let's say, um, the odds are to the upside on the gold market. Speaking of the crude oil, so we spoke about that uh, yesterday about the potential down day uh, to retest the lows. It's exactly basically happened, but now the market is again in this uh, kind of um, uh, pin bar territory and also the recent swing low. So market was trading back and forth in this developed uh, trading range where we have a resistance around uh, 74.55 and support area in this pin bar territory. So we had we had this breakout of the inside day yesterday, and today is basically just uh, for me to observe uh, how this uh, whole area we, can we hold. Uh, maybe we'll have some consolidation day. Uh, maybe the market can react, but overall it's just test of this uh, key support zone and uh, price action is very important to observe uh, around this area. Because if the market can clear, for example, this pin bar territory and trade below 63.50 and hold below, then that can open really the door for lower prices. And if we go to the weekly, there is a you know potential then for the, even for the prices you know like 35 and so, but market will need to to confirm that and go below the pin bar territory. If not, then there is a chance for the market to react up and try to trade again towards this upper uh, level in this resistance zone. And speaking of the Bitcoin versus US dollar, um, the key support area is the 25,300 mark. Market reacted here already a couple of times. We had some inside inside days relative to this down day and seems like market wants to take the high of those last two days. I definitely see potential for rotation up towards the 27,300 mark, uh, maybe even higher, but this is the, the cluster that uh, 
there's also this supply trend line here so uh, that area around 27,000 27,300 mark uh, really might be in the play on the Bitcoin from other side if the market can really trade below and hold below 23 uh, 25,000 uh, 400 and there's a chance to retest 24,000 or so but from this perspective based on the mid long term mid long term trends are up uh, based on this support cluster I will see a good chance for the market to revisit 27,400 uh, 300 mark uh, that will be all for this uh, update I hope that you did enjoy uh, trade safe as always and speak to you from tomorrow morning